How's it going guys? My name is DJP and welcome back to another MLB The Show 23 Franchise Rebuilding Challenge. So we've got our final AL team to mimic the postseason. And that's going to be the Orioles who finished off this season last year on a pretty high note. Uh, they got a lot of young guys on the team. Should be pretty interesting to try to rebuild them and try to get them a World Series within five seasons. So we're going to see if we can do that. Um, as per the description, uh, the rules are down there in case you guys forgot or you know never seen one of these videos before. Uh, and if you haven't and you enjoy this kind of content, leave a like and subscribe. And comment down below for videos, go to socials, play the second channel, main channel, down in the description as well if you like that content from me, TJP. And with that being said, let's get on with the gameplay. Alright, so let's take a look at the team we've got here. So it's uh, pretty interesting. I mean, definitely one thing we will want is starting pitching. You might want to try to get that underway. Also, we want a better second baseman. Um, Adam Frage is going to be expiring. So we'll look to see if we can get somebody. Uh, but yeah, kind of just looking at the team. Uh, if we look at the lineups here, uh, yeah, I mean, there's definitely some talent here. I mean, Gunnar Henderson, I've seen him do good things. We've seen Adley Rushman do some good things. We've got Grayson Rodriguez. So there's some, there's some def definitely some players here that are pretty solid. Um, but uh, I think we can make a couple moves. We could probably get a second baseman. That would be nice. And I definitely want a starting pitcher. I mean, you know, Rodriguez, Gibson, Wells, uh, John Means, I guess, is in AAA because of the injuries and all that. Um, and my, that's my guess. Yeah, he's in AAA. So he'll get called up, but that's fine. Uh, in real life, it, it's, it's a real life thing. That's what it is. Um, so let's take if we can get maybe a second baseman um, and maybe just another pitcher to add to this uh, rotation. Uh, that's probably all I'll do. All right, I'll just see with the Braves. We're going to get Kyle Wright for uh, Hudson Haskin, James Cannon, Rowan Urias for, and yeah, Kyle Wright's going to be on the team. So we'll add him to our rotation. That'll be a nice starting pitcher to have. He's been under contract for a bit of time. I still need a better second baseman. I might throw in Frazier uh, and Givens. See if I can maybe just dump their money off and try to get somebody else. We have a lot of uh, these players here, Santander, but I'm not going to trade him. Uh, but yeah, let's see if we can get a second baseman here uh, for this upcoming season. Uh, so I'm going to look around on the market and see what we can get. All right, I'm going to do this deal here with the Guardians. We're going to give up uh, Adam Frazier, Michael Givens, and Cole Irvin. For Andres Jimenez, uh, welcome to the team. Andres never traded for him, so we're going to go with him. He will be our second baseman. Uh, and I think that's pretty much all the moves I want to make for now. I definitely think the lineup a little little, looks a little bit better. If Josh Lester DHing, I don't know about that, but um, if that's what the managers want to do, well, then by all means, you guys can go for it. But a little bit worried about that. Pitch rotation also looks a little bit better, I guess, at the top. Uh, Dean Kremer. Okay, I mean, listen, I'm not expecting to compete this season, so it's not too big of a deal. We got a lot of guys that I feel like could maybe contribute in a couple seasons, uh, but for now, uh, we'll simulate and see if maybe we can somehow sneak into a wild card. Uh, but if we don't make the postseason this year, not the end of the world. All right, so we're 41 and 48 right now at the All Star break, which uh, isn't that great, and it looks like we're kind of a bit of a ways away from every other team. So, looks like we're not going to make the postseason. That's, again, not a problem. We had a couple guys that are hurt as well. Uh, anybody here? Uh, Kyle. Kyle Bradish hurt. Hand, head fracture. Yikes. I mean, he wasn't doing great, but dang. That stinks. You don't, you don't, wor you don't wish bad uh, on those be on those kind of people, you know, injuries and stuff. Uh, Jimenez. Would have been, like a little bit better. Andres. Uh... Cedric Mullins, solid year. Adley Rushman's amazing. Santander struggling. Mount Castle's been good. Gunner, not bad. Could be better. Hayes been struggling. Honestly, this guy John Lester, I said he's not gonna be very good, but he's uh, he's doing okay. And then Jorge Mateo is playing short right now. I guess uh, Jackson Holiday is in the minors still, and he's doing pretty good. But we'll, we'll eventually call him up. Jordan Westberg, I'd like to see him get called up at some point too. Don't know when that would be. Uh, but we'll see. I, it's gonna be tough though, because I mean, I guess Gunner would be the guy. Um, no, we'll, we'll maybe we'll figure something out. Uh, Colin Cows is up here as well, so there's a lot of like guys that we have that are, you know, top prospects. Um, but okay, bench isn't amazing. Uh, the rotation, Kyle Wright. I mean, good record, a little high in the area, like that lowered a little bit. John Means hasn't pitched much, uh, but. He has done pretty solid. I think he'll have a good post All Star break. Uh, Rodriguez, not the greatest uh, start. Wells has been okay. Uh, Dean Kramer's not too bad. Baker's struggling. 
uh, Sonal Perez. Okay, Tate. Yeah, you know, the bullpen's not amazing. Bautista's been really good, though. Bautista's good. Um, some guys are okay. It's like a mixed bag. Some guys have been good. Some haven't been that great. Uh, but that's okay. Listen, I'm not, like I said, I wasn't expecting to compete in our first season. I mean, if there's any moves we could make, I mean, we could look around and see if anybody's expiring that we might want to get rid of. Uh, I would say maybe Kyle Gibson. I don't see myself re-signing him. So if I can get something for him, um, I will uh, definitely go for it. Maybe just some young guys on the team. Let's deal with the Marlins. We'll give up uh, Gibson and we'll get Anthony Piguero and Zach Cambly uh, for Kyle Gibson. Save a little money here. Uh, since Kyle Gibson, we're not going to end up re-signing him. So uh, we will offer that trade, get a couple young guys in return. Nothing too crazy for him, but it's just a little bit of uh, two extra guys versus one. So that'll be about it. Uh, we'll see the rest of the season, see how we do, and we will go from there. All right, 72 and 90. Bit of a step down from what I would have wanted us to be. I mean, I didn't expect to make the postseason, but I would have liked a little bit of a better record. So not a big deal, though. Uh, let's take a look soon, see what we got. Uh, you know, Welk's on the list. Yeah, he's still out with the head injury. That stinks. Uh, yeah, Jimenez ended up having an okay seed. Could have been better. Bones was really good. Rutschman was great. Uh, Santander struggled. Is he a free agent? He is go probably going to be a free agent. It might be arbitration. Might be able to get him on that. Mountcast was okay. I mean, nothing too crazy. We even called up Jackson Holiday. He got, uh, a 211 average. Not that great, but, you know, we'll, we'll work on it. Colton Kowser in limited amount of time was okay. Uh, Vavra was terrible. Uh, McKenna was solid. Okay, how was the pitching rotation looking? Kyle Wright had a nice year. Uh, Grayson Rodriguez. It was okay. Could have been better. John Means was really good. Wells and Dean Kramer. Not nothing too crazy there. DL Hall uh, struggled a bit. Uh, Johnson was good. Bullpen after that, not too bad. Felix Bautista, 36 saves. We'll take it. So we're going to have to go on to the offseason. Got some moves to make, some contract to tender, some arbitrations to offer. Uh, I'm excited. So let's see what ends up happening here. The Dodge beat the Rays in the 2020 World Series. All right, let's go on to the offseason. All right, so we're at free agency now. There's a few offers that I could throw out here. I do want some pitching. I wouldn't mind trying to get Otani. I'm also going to throw an offer to Aaron Nola, I think. Uh, so we'll throw him a deal. Oh, we've reached our maximum free agent size. Never mind. Um, I guess we'll have to make some trades then because I didn't even realize that we were at max free agency. Um, that is something new. Okay. Uh, well, let's see what we could maybe do here to alleviate that. Padres, we're going to give up Floyd, Cedeno, and Heath for Joe Musgrove. Joe Musgrove, pretty solid starter. Welcome to the team. All right, I'm going to dump these two relief pitchers off here, Eddie Pena and Alfonso, Alfonso Julio to the Angels. We're just going to get Javier Cortez. It's a small trade just to free up a little bit of roster spots because I do want to try to sign some guys. Uh, I'm going to go offer Aaron Nola a deal. Uh, we'll see if we can get him on the squad. He could be like our, you know, guess our ace. Um, I'll also throw an Otani a deal. I guess because I just don't have a lot of free agency spots. I don't know how much we'll be able to get done, but we'll uh, see who we can pick up here free to see and then kind of just... All right, so we were able to pick up Shohei Otani. That's a big signing right there. He will help out our rotation as well as, you know, be a DH in our lineup. Uh, in addition, obviously, we just saw we trade for Joe Musgrove. And we do sign Aaron Nola. So I think that's going to be pretty much about it for moves, honestly. I, I don't think I'm going to go too crazy here. We're just going to try to get everybody else back on the team. And, yeah, I, I think we're I think we're good. I mean, unless there's, like, a, a, a relief pitcher that we might want to get, maybe we can get, like, Matt Moore on the team. I'll throw him a contract. Maybe just add him to the bullpen. But that'll be about it. Uh, so, yeah, we'll throw him a four-year deal. See if he wants to come here. If he does, he does. If he doesn't, he doesn't. And yeah, that, that's it. So I'll see you guys, I guess, at the start of the uh, third and uh, second season. I was about to say third and final season. Second season. All right, to so start of the second season, we have definitely improved, I'd say. So looking at the lineup, looks pretty good. Um, you know, I'm liking the team. Obviously got Otani in there. Uh, you know, Adley Rutschman's pretty solid. He, he's coming off a good year. We have Jackson Holly start off in the majors with Jordan Westberg, so that's cool. Uh, yeah, a lot of development being shown here from the boys. 
So I love that. How's our rotation looking? Looking pretty good. We got Otani, Nola, Musgrove, right? And Grace Rodriguez here. John Means coming out of the bullpen. I guess that's fine if one of these guys goes down. Uh, he can always, he can, he's very reliable. Step in. Um, yeah, the bullpen looks okay. Moore is in there. Obviously, we picked him up. So, yeah, I mean, listen, I think the team looks good. Uh, should be better than we were last year. So, if someone to find out those to simulate. So, I'll see you guys at the All Star break. Maybe we'll make a move then. But for now, I'm I'm pretty so I'm pretty set on this team. I think it's pretty good. So, all right, so we're 52 and 39 at the All Star break. Not too bad. We're in the running. We're in the hunt uh, for a playoff spot, postseason spot. Uh, let's take a look at the team. So injury list: uh, Ryan Malkhouse, torn groin. Hate to see it. Uh, so he'll be out for an extended period of time. Uh, but he's looking pretty good. He's got a potential. That's kind of crazy. So love to see that from him. Uh, hopefully he comes back soon and better than ever. Mullins having a nice season. You love that. Hitting 300. Jimenez, I was expecting a little bit more out of him. Not gonna lie. Otani, doing okay at the plate. Nothing too crazy. Santander, eh. Rushman's having a down year. Henderson's been really good. Hayes has been excellent. Um, okay. Off the bench, Jackson Holiday. He's played about 37 games. Colton Cowser's here. Westberg, okay. Nothing too crazy. McKenna's been pretty good. Bench has been iffy. Spotty. Uh, but yeah, Kyle Stowers uh, stepping in 10 games and kind of doing his thing so far. How's the rotation looking? Otani's been really good at the, on the mound, which I, you know, I figured. Nola's been good. Right, a little chilly this year. Musgrove has been bad, and Grace Rodriguez has been not that great either. Uh, mean, John Means has been awesome. Uh, so that's good to see. Moore has been a nice pickup so far. The middle of the bullpen's been solid except for Perez. Uh, Dilatate's been lights out this year. Can't say the same about Dar uh, Darwin's and Hernandez. Uh, but Felix Bautista, 32 saves. Beautiful. He's, he's pitching great. Um, the one thing we could do is maybe get rid of Santander and try to get an upgrade at the right field position, which I think I might do. Uh, so I'm going to see what's out there in the market for for Santander. Maybe I'll throw in a couple other guys contracts in and see if we try to get somebody to help us out in this lineup. Let's see with the Phillies. I mean, Santander, Colton Kowser, and Keegan again for, uh, or Keegan Akin for, uh, Bryce Harper. Yeah, I mean, why not, right? Uh, it's Bryce Harper. He's pretty good. Uh, in Sim, so we'll take him on. I know it's a big contract, but you know what? And I feel like I get him pretty often, but he's usually pretty good so let's take him so welcome to the squad bryce harper uh pretty big pickup there so i think that's it that's gonna help out our lineup immensely i'll see you guys at the uh what end of the season where i think we'll probably be able to make the postseason all right well we had a horrible uh second half of the season 85 and 77 was not gonna have to make postseason so that is unfortunate um a little bit surprising um, well, we got guys getting hurt. Damage knee cartilage, Shohei Otani. Uh, he was lights out on the mound, and he was picking it up at the plate, but he missed a lot of games because of damage knee cartilage. Uh, yeah, that's going to hurt when you have that. All right, well, that's tough. Mullins was solid. Gunnar Henderson was awesome. Harper was pretty decent. Mount Castle had not too bad of a season. You know, he was hurt a little bit. Adley, down from last year, but I think he'll pick it up. A little bit disappointed in Jimenez. I want a little bit more out of him. Hayes was okay. Not too bad as well. Jordan Westbrook. Jackson Holiday. All right. Bench isn't incredible either. So I'm a little worried about that. How was our pitching, though, other than, uh, I mean, obviously, we're his lights out. I mean, Nola was solid. Kyle Wright. Like a little bit more out of ya. Musgrove wasn't that great either. Grayson Rodriguez. John Means was solid. Uh, looking here. Dean, not that great. Kyle wasn't too bad. Yeah, the bullpen. Some guys were good. Some guys weren't. Dar Their wins in Hernandez was not very good this year. Dylan Tate, that was uh, excellent. And uh, Bautista, 49 saves. Pretty good. I mean, listen, we were 85 and 77. Uh, which is, you know, Otani had the best ERA in the league. Cedric Mills led the league in doubles. So that's cool. 
Uh, if you look at the standings, I mean, we only missed out by one game. So we were close. Very close, just not quite enough. So I think we can make it next year, make some changes. Uh, if we have everybody for an entire season, everybody stays healthy. Uh, but yeah, I, I would have liked to have made the postseason this year. It's unfortunate, but we got one. We got another season. We got another three seasons, actually, so not too worried. Uh, this time, we trended in the right direction. I think we took a step back last year as well. So yeah, we'll see in the postseason, see who wins. It's going to be the Dodgers winning again against the Angels this time. And yeah, I guess we'll just go on to the offseason. We have a few moves to make. We'll try to keep this team together, see some development happen, and uh, try to make the postseason this upcoming year. All right, so kind of just looking at free agency, there's nothing too crazy that I could do here because uh, I just don't have a lot of money. I mean, I wouldn't mind trying to get another left fielder. Maybe Alex or Dugo. Um, I mean, I'm looking at maybe... How did Austin Hayes... Austin Hayes has been okay. Hmm. Like, do I try to pick up Verdugo? Maybe, like, a guy in the bullpen? Like, I could throw throw Verdugo a contract I feel like he's pretty solid. There's Anthony Santander, who ended up having a pretty solid season after we moved him. But, hmm. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I could throw him or Michael Conforto. I'll throw Michael Conforto a contract, actually. We'll throw him a deal so we can get him on the team because I feel like I usually go after Verdugo. Uh, so yeah, we'll give we'll give uh, Conforto a contract. See if he wants to come here. Add him as a bat. And then I guess in terms of like relief pitchers, if there's anybody out there that might want to add to our bullpen, um, maybe I'll throw like Tanner Scott a contract. And I think that'll be about it. So uh, yeah, I'll uh, see you guys once I have some uh, guys on the table that I want to throw contracts to. All right, to bolster my bullpen even more, I'm going to trade for Evan Diaz. I'm going to give up Ortiz, uh, Taryn, and Joey. Uh, and Joey. So there we go. Edwin Diaz, welcome to the team from the Mets. So I know we do have uh, Bautista and Diaz. I think I might move this Uvila guy uh, and just try to get, uh, I don't know, like, uh, what do we need? Maybe just like another first baseman or shortstop. Let's get a shortstop if there's like a low shortstop. That's I could possibly guess get from this. Uh, we can get Grover Wheeler, and then if you could throw me like a second baseman as well. No, that doesn't work. Okay, how about a first baseman? All right, yeah, Rick Gallegos and Grover Wheeler for Cole Vila. So there we go. That's gonna be pretty much about it for moves. I'll see you guys at the start of the third. All right, third season. I mean, on paper, this team I think might be. It says, like, first, sixth, 13, second, first, second. I don't know if I've ever had a team like that. But, nevertheless, team's looking good. Let's see the lineup. I mean, on paper, it looks like a good team. This looks like a really good team on paper. Conforto's going to start in left. I mean, we have him and Hayes, which isn't too bad. Um, the bench is pretty solid. Uh, West Westberg's still here on the bench. It was a good team. I mean, they did draft uh, this guy, uh, Bob Dodd, number two overall. So he could be a potential piece that we want to move. Um, but for now, keep him as is. Rotation looks pretty good. The bullpen, John Means is a long reliever I like that. One of those guys steps in, he uh, steps out, he can step in. The bullpen is looking good as well. Obviously, adding Edwin Diaz. So that's looking pretty good. I like that. I like the team. I do. I do like the team. I think we can be pretty good. I think this is the year we can make the postseason. We should be able to make the postseason this year. I think we have a lot of talent. Let's see if uh, everything can fall into fruition. Well, we're 62-29. and 29. We're 18 games up against the Yankees, so I would assume that we should be able to be in the postseason. Uh, let's take a look at the injury list. Good if guys hurt. Uh, Bob Dodd, damaged knee cartilage. No, I hate to see it. Wow, this guy was putting up pretty good average, too. Um... Okay, that's unfortunate. He was in 341. Lineups. Mullins, having a bad season this year. Struggling a little bit cold, but Gunner's not doing too bad. Bryce Harper's been great. Otani, solid. Adley's not been uh, doing too bad as well, but it looks like he's missed some time, so good to see him back. Matt Castle looking pretty good. Conforto. Okay, Jimenez. This is the Jimenez I like to see. 314, Andres Jimenez. And then, of course, Jack Holiday doing his thing out there. Picking it up. Having a nice season this year. Breakout year. Hayes off the bench isn't that great. The bench hasn't been amazing at all, but it's fine. Rotation-wise, Otani, not too bad. 
Aaron Nola has been great. Kyle Wright, decent, a little bit better. Grace Rodriguez, good record, but ERA a little too high for my liking. And Joe Musgrove has been pretty solid. John Means, you're awesome. We love you. Dylan Tate's been amazing this year. Uh, Baker. Uh, I might move to Wins and Hernandez right now because I feel like I just don't want him. Tanner Scott, I picked him up in free agency. He isn't looking too good. Ignore the contract. Um, but yeah, Bautista, not doing too bad this year as well. So let's see if we can maybe, I, I guess we could try to move like Darwin's and Hernandez. I mean, is he, is he an expiring? He's still at arbitration. Uh, Perez has been pretty good. I mean, I guess we can move Hernandez if I can get something for him. Um, yeah, let, let, let's see what we can get for him. Maybe maybe there's somebody out there that we can that, that we can that can benefit our team. Uh, maybe a reliever and another uh, shortstop or right fielder wouldn't be too bad for the system. So let's let's see what's out there in the market. I'm just gonna do this deal: Derwins and Hernandez for Drew Strotman and Nick Hamill from the Athletics. I mean, I don't expect either of them to be in the pros, but uh, just to get rid of Hernandez off the team, uh, he's not doing that great could be helpful um uh, so yeah i mean i think that's it i think we're good um i guess we need to call anybody up we could have that ability to do so uh with perez or maybe even tyler wells who's kind of down here that doesn't need to be down here uh yeah we could call him up he is definitely somebody that we could call up even though he's a starter so uh, that's gonna be about it for me. I'll see you guys at the end of the season. I expect us to make the postseason sitting at 62 wins Yeah, we should be good Orioles are 108 and 54 made the postseason and won our division taking the win of the wildcard playoff game So great season for us. Let's take a look to see if we got some awards Lee leaders Otani strikeouts Aranola win percentage Aranola wins Aranola complete games Aranola innings pitched And then we've got understand his doubles batting average Bryce Harper runs base on balls on base plus slugging very nice stuff there so this is what we like to see uh from the boys uh let's see the awards what do we got Aaron Nola Cy Young Bryce Harper Hank Aaron award batting title 100 minutes nice very nice and uh you can see the runners up in MVPs of course Judge won MVP I could have tried I could have traded for Judge but then I would have to trade him in as and I don't want to trade him so uh, instead, we took Bryce Harper, who's a runner up in MVP. Had a good season. Uh, yeah, obviously, just was awesome. Mullins, a little bit of a down year this year, but that's okay. Bryce Harper was great. Otani, not bad. Not bad. Uh, but could be better. A little bit higher on the average. But you know what? You, you, could, do bit, you could do pitching, you could do hitting. So, you're okay. Uh, Rutschman's not too bad. Mount Castle was good. Conforto ended on the seat on fire. Jackson Holiday, we take those. And Westberg is playing third right now, interestingly enough. And why would that be? Why would that be? What happened to Mr. Gunnar Henderson? He is has a broken forearm. Okay. He's having a good season. Okay, so he broke his forearm. I mean, that's not too bad. I mean, he'll be back, but... It's a little unfortunate. How's the pitch rotation looking? Uh, Otani ended up doing really well. Oh, pretty solid. Aaron Nola obviously won the Cy Young. Kyle Wright, good record. A little high in the area, but not too bad. Rodriguez ended the season kind of cold. Musgrove was good. Um, where is Mr. John Means? Why is he down here? He was really good. He should be on the playoff roster. Hmm. Tyler Wells pitched two games in the majors and he was terrible. Okay. Yeah, I would rather have uh, John Means up here than Dean Kramer, if I'm being quite honest with you. But other than that, I mean, Tanner Scott was terrible, but everybody else was good in the bullpen. So yeah, I think I'm going to add John Means to the playoff roster instead. And then we can send, we can send you down. Yeah, that will do that. Now, is the man, the myth, the legend? Yes, okay, John Henderson on the playoff roster, but he's not there. So, 108 wins. We, wow, not a single other team was a, had a winning record in our division. Yikes. 
uh, no other team had 100 wins. So we are by far the best team. Now, what does that mean? Does that mean we'll win? No, it doesn't. We'll probably lose in the first round. Uh, well, maybe not. Seattle. Okay. Gonna take on the Mariners. How, what was their record again? The Mariners have 86 wins. Okay. Game one, Otani versus Emerson Hancock. We're going to lose that one 7-4. What a surprise. Okay, game two, we got to win. Nola versus Kirby, and we don't. So we choke. All right, Bautista blew the game. Wow, yeah, he really did blow the game. Give him two runs. Okay, I'm not liking our uh, not liking our team right now. Are we really gonna get swept? Kyle Wright versus Logan Gilbert. Okay, win 12 to one. That's good. Game four, I need Otani to step it up here versus Castillo. We win that one seven to four. If we win game five here, Aaron Noll on the bump versus George Kirby. We don't. Yikes. And we go down in five games. Not good whatsoever. Um, disappointing end of the season. Aaron Nola was terrible in the postseason. Dude, John Means is lights out, man. He is lights out. Uh, but Aaron Nola is not. I wish Aaron Nola could say it about you. Same thing about you. Otani wasn't that good in the postseason either. Wright was good. Um, John Means lights out. How was the rest of the bullpen? Honestly, the middle of the bullpen was good. Except for Matt Moore. Uh, and yeah, Bautista got lit up. So that's unfortunate. Uh, blowing the game. So lineups. Uh, what do we got here? Jimenez was good. Nola. Well, yeah, Nola doesn't hit. Offensively, we're in bad. Westbrook struggled. Uh, and then the bench didn't really play at all. Otani was good in the lineup at least, but... Yeah, I mean, other than, honestly, other than Westberg, four was I, yeah, other than that, like, our hitting wasn't the problem. Our pitching was. Our pitching let me down, not gonna lie. But, we got two more seasons, so, uh, still, though, a little bit of a disappointing end of this season. I, I still think we'll be good. We should be fine, be able to make the postseason the next two seasons, but. Dodgers somehow win the World Series again. Okay. Beat the Mariners. Uh, Dodgers have been really ru ruling this video, uh, so far, so. Let's go on to our uh, third season. We've got the offseason coming up. And our fourth season, actually. Third offseason coming up. See if we can make some moves to improve this team. All right, so um, we don't have a lot of money to play around with. I do want to try to re-sign Cedric Mullins and a few of our other guys here uh, on the team. And I guess I'll pretty much bring back most of the team. Maybe we'll make a couple trades if I have the ability to do so. Um, I just don't know if I'm going to be able to get uh, anybody in free agency. I just don't think I can do it. Uh, curious to see what the trade market is looking like. Uh, maybe we have somebody that we could possibly just offload. Um, I mean, I can't really think of anybody that really would want to get rid of. Maybe Tanner Scott, because uh, he's coming off a bad season. I mean, I could get rid of him. Uh, that wouldn't be too bad. Throw in Josh Lester, and then maybe Cliff Womack, and then if we can get... I mean, I wouldn't mind trying to get, like, a better... I still wouldn't mind trying to get, like, a better left fielder. I mean, Conforto is pretty solid. I mean, we have Hayes. Maybe we move Hayes. Or I could just get, like, another relief pitcher. I, I, that would really be the only thing that I would want to do. I mean, I get Corbin Carroll. I can't. Um, Chris Taylor is not really that worth it. Ben Attendi. Yelich is too much money. So... Yeah, I think I end up kind of just am going to keep the team as is. Uh, we'll try to re resign our guys, and that'll be pretty much about it. So, I mean, if there's any left fielders out there that I could get, like I'm looking now, if there's anybody here that's kind of relatively good. Don't really see anything, so uh, yeah, maybe relief pitchers. Other than that, it'll be pretty much uh, bringing back the rest of the team. I'll do this with the Royals. We'll get Phil Bickford for Tanner Scott, Josh Lester, and Quick Wambach. Or Wambach, rather, not Wambach. So, our fourth season, I did make some moves. Nothing too crazy, uh, but I will show you uh, some of the guys we have here now. If we take a look at the lineups, um, I mean, the lineups look great. Uh, we did pick up Gurriel Jr. Uh, we have still have Austin Hayes, which is cool. Um, very cool. We have Conforto as well. The bench looks pretty solid. Um, Jackson Ali is still starting. We've got Henderson, Menez. So, I mean, the lineup looks pretty filthy. The rotation, 
Um, I did pick up Tyler Anderson. So like a long relief pitcher. Now, John Means should not be in the minors. So, I kind of want to call him up if I can. And then send down maybe one of these guys. But, listen, this team's looking good. Now, I could also trade John Means. I'd like him, though, a lot. So, I would rather not do that. Uh, so, if I can call him up, is he? I guarantee he's not on the 40, man. Uh, no, he is. Okay, move to the MLB. We'll promote him. And then we will send down... Um, who do we want to send down? Let's send down... Can I send down Perez? Yeah, we'll send down Perez. Um, which is fine. So... Yeah, I want John Means in the bullpen for us, um, hopefully for a little bit. Maybe he'll get called up. Maybe he'll get called back down. Not a problem, though, but John Means is legit. I mean, this team's really good. I mean, we're top three in practically everything except power, which is probably, in terms of, like, rankings and stuff, could be my best team. Uh, so, can we get the job done? That is the question. We're going to simulate to the all-star break, and, yeah, we'll see how this team does. So we're 64 and 29 at the all-star break which is pretty solid uh we're doing our thing we got uh a pretty good team looking so far so let's see We've got some injuries tyler wells hurt strained finger you should be okay adam hall's hurt how are we doing standing wise i mean we do have the best record in the mlb again so we are looking pretty good let's take a look at the line and see what we got going on man is having a nice season gunner henderson doing great harper's doing great tawny's doing okay ryan mountcastle's putting up a a fantastic season Ali Rushford even better oh my goodness he's in 341 uh Mullen's not doing too bad Conforto hasn't played much he's been kind of bad when he does play Halliday's been okay Austin Hayes has been really good uh Guriel's been kind of struggling uh Westberg's been really good in the limited amount of times he's played so the team's looking solid uh how's the pitch rotation looking Otani's been good Really good. Uh, Nola's been amazing. Grayson Rodriguez, you like to see that. Kyle Wright's been kind of struggling. Musgrove's been pretty solid. John Means doing his thing out of the bullpen with Tyler Anderson. Uh, Brian Baker's struggling a bit. Phil Bickford's doing pretty good. We got Diaz, Dylan Tate, Ed Felix Bautista. He's got 28 saves on the season. So you love to see that. So, uh, is there anything we want to do? I mean, I would say getting a left fielder that could actually be consistently good would be helpful. So maybe I just package Conforto, Hayes, and Gurriel and see what I can get for them. Um, I would love to get a left fielder. Can't get Judge, obviously. I can get Oswaldo Cabrera. I mean, that could work. I mean, he's pretty solid. Uh, so, Corbin Carroll can't get. George and Profar is having a good season. Well, let's see if we can get a left fielder. A better left fielder than these three guys. All right, I'm going to do this with the Tigers. We're going to have a Conforto, Guriel Jr., and McKenna. We're going to get a kill Badu back on this squad. Uh, so we're shutting a little cast base here. I am going to keep um, Austin Hayes, but we do get Badu. So I'm going to do that deal there. And uh, I guess he'll be in the outfield for us. So I'm liking that trade there. Should help us out a little bit at the plate. Uh, I don't know if I want to make any other moves. I think we're good. So let's simulate to the end of the season. I should Again, I expect us to be one of the better teams. Let's keep it up. All right, we once again went 108-54 and on the season, won the division, took on the win of the wildcard playoff game, or way, playoff round, whatever you want to call it. So we were the best team in the AL, 108 wins. The Dodgers had 92. No other team had 100 wins, so we were clearly the best team. Now, will that stay and hold true? Well, let's find out. Nola, winning percentage, wins, innings pitch, and so Itani had the best uh, whip in the league in terms of uh, some other stuff here. Got Ryan Mountcastle, batting average. Gunnar Henderson runs, Bryce Harper on base plus slugging and war. So good stuff there for Bryce. So I guess Mountcastle had the best, uh, best batting average in the league, so that's cool. So let's see. Awards, what do we got? We got Aaron Nola, Cy Young, makes sense. We've got Ryan Mountcastle and Bryce Harper winning gold gloves. Bryce Harper, Hank Aaron Award, and Ryan Mountcastle with the batting title. Very nice. And he was third in the MVP. So that's what you like to see. Good stuff there from Ryan Mountcastle. He had a great season. we got some guys on the injury list, though. Uh, nobody 
uh, too important for us, so that's cool. Lineup wise, seems to be pretty good. Mullins was good. Everybody hit, seemed to hit the ball well. Tani hit the ball well. Obviously, Ryan Mountcastle did. Adley the Rushman was really good. Yeah, this is uh, yeah, this is a really good looking team right here. The bench uh, looks solid for the most part. Mateo was eh. Samuel Basala was eh. Anthony uh, Paguero, young guy that we got when he was 17. He's 20 years old and he's hitting 286, so we like that. Pitching rotation. Tani did his thing out there. Aaron Nola did his thing out there. Grace Rodriguez did his thing out there. Kyle Wright ended up on fire. Didn't have that great of a season. Musgrove was really good. John Means, good record. Tyler Wells. We got uh, Baker, who's really struggled. Uh, Bickford was good, though. Called up Perez. We've got Diaz doing his thing. Date, Tate was excellent. Felix Batista, 45 saves on the year. Not too bad. So we're going to be taking the winner on of Boston and Minnesota. It'll be the Boston Red Sox here. So let's see how we can fare against them. They have Shane Bieber on the bump in game one. We got Otani. Can we win? We can't. We get Otani gets lit up. Can't have that. What's happening, Otani? Game two, Aaron Nola versus Garrett Whitlock. And we're going to lose that one 4 2. So we're really choking right now. Uh, so we're down 2 0. Can't lose this game here. Grace Rodriguez for 10 Hawk. We win 5 1. We needed that. Otani, you got to step it up, man. You got to step it up. We're paying you big bucks. You need to pitch the well. And he gets he gets lit up. 5 nothing, And we couldn't even get a hit off of Bieber? Damn, man. Three hitter. That's embarrassing. Our pitching is brutal. Um, if, if, I, if you're going to pitch like that in the postseason, I got to trade you, my man. I, I cannot have that. Oh, boy. Oh, the offense was terrible. Mountcastle's pretty solid. So it was Jimenez, but everybody else hit terrible too. So you know what? We didn't, we didn't hit the ball well. Westberg had one hit, two at bats. Tani was terrible. Nola was terrible. Grace Rodriguez was really good though. John Means could have been better. Honestly, uh, the bullpen. I I'm not even gonna blame the bullpen. I'm not gonna blame Means. I'm gonna blame Otani, man. Otani was brutal. He's choking. Can't have that. We got one more season though. So let's. We got it. We got it's a do or die season. This championship on the line. We got to get to the World Series next year. Got to win it with the O's, hopefully. So we'll send the offseason, see what we got going on. And we got the Red Sox. I mean, I guess we'll end up losing the eventual World Series chance, but I don't know how that team won it. Um, let's see. What was their record? Red Sox. Ah, oh, they had 97 wins. That's, that's pretty good. They were the second best team in the MLB. So we had a tough matchup, honestly. Uh, you know what? Okay, I guess that's a tough matchup. But even then, we were living even better than them. I feel like we should have been should have beat them. Either way, hey, listen, we got one more season. Let's see if we can try to make some improvements this team and hopefully get back once again to the postseason and get out of the DL, uh, ALDS. Free agency, I just got to hope that we could re-sign, like, Mountcastle and Wright and offer the arbitration guys, get those guys back and some of these guys here on tenderings. That's what we can hope for. Um, I don't really have much money. I mean, do I want to move Otani? I don't even know what I can get for him. Like, if I wanted to move him. Um, I mean, I can get Judge and Garrett Cole. Is that worth it if I throw in Bryce Harper and then you give me... You give me Jordan Hicks? No, can't get Jordan Hicks. Nah, it's not worth it. Nah, I'm not going to do that. I, I mean, I'm not going to make any trades, I don't think. I mean, unless I want to move Musgrove. Maybe I'll move Muf Musgrove. Uh, if I... If I if, do I really want to move Musgrove? Maybe. Maybe we move Musgrove. And, like, Daz Cameron. If I can get him and maybe Jorge Mateo. See what's out there in the market. And try to get, like, a really good pitcher. I could move Diaz, I guess. See what's out there. I'm, I'm going to look. I'm going to look. I mean, you could get Garrett Cole. I mean, but I don't know if I want to do that. I'm going to look. And I'm not going to make... I'm not definitely going to make a move. But we'll see what's out there. A little bit annoyed because I lost out on Mountcastle. He went to the Angels. But you know what? I'm going to trade away Musgrove, Damon, and Bob Dodd to get him back. Because I don't want to lose Joe's Musgrove. I mean, I, I don't want to lose Ryan Mountcastle for that. So we'll just do that trade. We do have a lot of prospects. That does save a little bit of money. So we do get him back. Um, I'm gonna try to see if there's anything I could do in terms of offering somebody a contract. I might throw like, should I, I'm gonna throw Tristan McKenzie a contract. 
and see if I can get him on the team. I don't know if I can afford him, but I will try to see if I can get him onto the team. And that would be a big pickup for us if I can. See, that's great. Um, however, Kyle Wright is now a free agent, or I can't afford his, uh, can't afford his, the contract I gave him. I mean, do I need him? Um, or would I rather get somebody else? I mean, I guess I could theoretically make another trade for somebody else. I'm going to see what's out there. Um, uh, I mean, I want to move, I don't want to move John Means, but, uh, let's see. Tyler Anderson is kind of regressing, but he's coming off a good season. I'll throw him out there, see if I can maybe get another pitcher, maybe mix him in and somebody else. All right, I'll, I'll give up Tyler Anderson, Mateo, and Puguero for Contreras and Ben Joyce from the Pirates. Uh, Rollins is not too bad, so we'll, we'll take him on. All right, last move I made here I'm going to do is I'm going to get Dalton Varsho. Uh, so, yeah, that's another bat in the lineup. And that's about it for moves. I'm done. This is going to be the team. We'll just make sure we can get everybody back and we'll just go from there. All right, fifth and final season. We got to get the job done here, ladies and gentlemen. I'm hoping we can. I mean, the lineups, the lineup looks amazing on paper. It really does. Um, I mean, it's funny. I got Badu and I got Hayes. I mean, now they're, they're off the, off, coming off the bench. Listen, this bench looks pretty good. The, the starting lineup looks great. The rotation on paper looks really good. But, you know, in practice, will the bullpen hold up? Will the starting will, will Otani step up to the plate and pitch well in the postseason? That is the real question. I've got a lot of faith in you, buddy. Yeah. Come on, you can do it. I know you. He's done it before, but he's also choked before. I'm hoping he doesn't. I'm hoping he doesn't. Come on, we got this. We gotta play O's baseball. I, I imagine we'll be good in the regular season. We just gotta get past the ALDS. I think we can this year. I think there's something. I'm feeling something special with this team. So. I'm going to sim it to the All-Star break. If I need to make any moves, I will, but I kind of am a little bit low on budget. So I don't really think there's anything that I could do. I mean, if I wanted to trade Kramer and Moore to get a, another relief pitcher, that would be cool, but I don't think that that's going to work right now. So I'll just hold off on making any moves. We'll Maybe we'll rekindle at the All-Star break, see how we're doing if I want to add another arm to the bullpen. But for now, I like the team. All right, we got off to a bit of a slow start, I'm not even going to lie. 53 and 38, still pretty solid, but not quite what I was expecting. I thought we'd be a lot better. Uh, Contreras, flexor strain. He's had a pretty good year, though. Uh, Holiday's got a broken arm. That's unfortunate. He's doing pretty solid. So we'll be missing him for a bit. Uh, Mullen's okay. Gutter Henderson's not having a bad year. Harper's been amazing. Mountcastle, you know, I traded all that crap to get you back, and you're hitting 244. What's going on, buddy? Uh, Ali Rushman hasn't played much. But Dolivar Show, like a little bit better from him. Otani's been decent. Jimenez, not too bad. We got Westberg having to play short. He's not having a good year. Hayes off the bench has been really good. Okay. I'm a little I'm a little worried. I'm a little worried. I mean, the pitching rotation, Otani's been decent. Rodriguez's been on fire as well. He hasn't been great. Nola's been eh. Kenzie's been good, but he's only three and six. John Means, dude. I, honestly, John Means is, should be pitching in the postseason. It's clutch. Uh Petrara's been really good though, too. DL Hall has been solid this year. The bullpen has actually been except for Perez, because he's been brutal. Has been good. Uh, Batista's got 21 saves. I think I want to get another arm. I think I want to get another arm in the bullpen. Do I? I I'd have to double check. I, I think I do. I think I get one more arm. I'm not sold on Perez. Uh, so let, let's see if I can maybe package him in more to get a better. Right, I'll do this deal with the Red Sox. We're going to give up uh, Perez more and Tavares for Lucas Sims. Uh from the Red Sox, so small move there, but we're gonna bolster up the bullpen a little bit. We have a surplus of left fielders, so many left fielders. Uh, actually, I might try to trade a couple of these left fielders for maybe a position in need. Uh, maybe, yeah, maybe like another shortstop or something, like another infielder. So I'll, I'll see if I can get something for these guys. 
All right, I know I just got a kill, Badu, but I'm going to give up him and Tony Toby Welk for Oswald Peraza from the Yankees. So, Oswald, welcome to the team. He can play shortstop while Jackson Holiday is rehabbing uh, his injury. So, that's it for moves. Um, I'll see you guys at the end of the season. Hopefully, we can win our division. I mean, right now, again, we're 53 wins. Nothing too crazy. Uh, but chances are, we'll, if we don't win our division, we'll probably make a wild card. Assuming we can have a good second half of the season. 162. One division taking on the win of the wildcard playoff game. So another season in the books. Uh, let's take a look at the standings. We, we had 100 wins. Nothing too crazy. Yankees kind of fell off a little bit. 100 wins was the best in the AL, but not in the MLB. Dodgers 104. So league leaders, John Means, best winning percentage. So fantastic stuff there from him. Cedric Mullins had the most stolen base of 42. Impressive. Injury list. What do we got? Nobody, uh, nobody's hurt right now. That's good. I saw Anola did get hurt. Lineups, Mullins, decent season. Gunnar Henderson, solid. Bryce Harper had a great year. Cooled down a little bit, though. Malcast on his hand on fire. Uh, okay, Rutschman was not too bad. Dalton show. Okay, lineup seems pretty good. Uh, Jax Howard is coming off the bench, I guess, in some areas. I mean, he's still doing his thing out there. Peraza is pretty good uh, as well, so I can't be mad about that. How was the pitching rotation? Uh, Grace Rodriguez was good. Really good. Uh, Otani was amazing. McKenzie, Aaron Noah struggled a bit. And yeah, Contreras was a good pickup. Dale Hall did good. John Means, man, I might be tempted to play him in the postseason a lot. The bullpen uh, was, for the most part, good. Ended up being okay except for main db dean kramer but hopefully he doesn't pitch too much hopefully we could get the job done this is our season to do it either gonna be taking on boston or texas and what do you know it's boston our good old foes in boston will this be the year we can actually beat them and get out of the alds i mean i hope so i mean boston was good though boston only had two less losses than us, so i mean it's not like it's a pretty even series they're a good team. They got Bieber on the bump versus Grayson Rodriguez, our guy. Game one. We're going to win that one 5-2, so clutched it out. Game two, Otani. I need you to win this one, Otani. Okay, I'm not pitching Otani anymore. Game three, McKenzie versus Garrett Whitlock. We win 2-1. to one. I need Aaron Nola to clutch this out. He doesn't. You got to be kidding me. We were up 3-1 and we blew it. Sims. Oh, John Means. Keep a run. Okay. Grayson Rodriguez or Shane Bieber. Game five, do or die. I need Grayson Rodriguez to win this. Can he do it? Ladies and gentlemen, will we advance? We won't. We won't. We choked. Guys, this is bad. Really? Damn, man. That's brutal. Three straight seasons of underperforming. The Sim was not on our side today, ladies and gentlemen. What are you going to do? Yeah, Sims was terrible. Ugh. Brutal. Um, lineups, let's see how we did. Mullins was brutal. Ah, God, our offense was bad. I mean, Menace was good. Otani was decent. Varsho was good. But yeah, man, we didn't hit the ball enough. I'm a little disappointed in uh, Cedric. He was bad. Mount Castle. Not good. Not good. Rotation-wise, Otani, man, you really let me down. He let me down, man. He let me down. Mackenzie was a great pickup, though. He was a great pickup. I mean, Means ended up doing okay. Sims wasn't good. And other than that, everybody else in the bullpen was fine. So, Otani really struggled in the postseason. So, that is unfortunate. Um, yeah, he didn't do good. Well, unfortunately, sometimes this is how videos end up. You, you, we don't. Sometimes you just don't have the greatest uh, postseason success. And once again, the Red Sox won the World Series, beat the Reds. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I guess that is the end of the video. Tough to... Tough one, tough one. We had, we built we built a good team. Uh, 
but unfortunately wasn't good enough to compete with the best of them. So, especially in the postseason, that's where we really struggled, uh, mainly in Otani. Uh, but I guess with that being said, let's go to the full screen quote. Alright, well, that's gonna be it for me. Hope you enjoyed the video if you did. Leave a like and subscribe. Comment down below some videos. Go to socials, play the second channel, main channel, down in the description. Look at the content me, TJP. Uh, that was our final non-playoff postseason team. Uh, so now all the other teams going forward will be teams that have made the postseason. So we'll be doing it based on, you know, where they finished in the standings or, you know, in the postseason. So if they got eliminated in the wild card, we'll do them first based on seeding. And then we'll do... Uh, well, where you finished in the DS, then the CS, and then the World Series, the WS. So, all right, that's it for me. I'm going to head on out. Take everybody. See you soon. Peace.